Hello, this is Maria again from Math Mammoth, and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we are looking at telling time and how to use till and after or past in telling time. So we have here these analog clocks, and what time is it? Matthew, you tell me. Aha! He said it's breakfast time. I think he knows what time it is on the clock face. Do you? This first one. As a review, we look at the hour hand and it's past eight. So it's eight something. We look at the minute hand, it's pointing to four, but that doesn't tell us the minutes. We have to count by fives, starting here. Here's zero minutes. Five, 10, 15, 20. 8, 20. But now we're also gonna say it in another way. We're gonna say it using after. We're gonna say the minutes first. 20 minutes after eight hours. But people usually say it 20 after 8. It means 20 minutes after 8. Or you can also say it as 20 past 8. And this next one, what time is it? Shall we listen to Matthew's ideas? Now he's saying it's lunchtime. You're right. It is 12 hours and 10 minutes. But if we use the minutes and hours way of saying it, we will say 10 minutes after 12 or 10 after 12 or just 10 past 12. Okay, so this is pretty easy, don't you think? Now we're going to look at the other situation where we're not going to use the after or past, but instead we're going to look at how many minutes is it till the next hour. In this one here, we see that the hour hand is going to soon come to 11 hours. It's not yet, but it will soon be 11 hours. So it's going to be so many minutes till 11. How many minutes? Here's a minute hand. And we count by fives. Okay, from here to here is five, another five, another five till the full hour. So five, 10, 15 minutes till 11 o'clock. Okay. And saying it the other way, hours first, we will say that, well, it's not yet 11 hours, it's just 10 hours. And how many minutes? You could count from here by fives, but hopefully you'll remember by now that over here was 30 minutes and we get to 45. 10, 45 or 15 till 11. Now you try the next one. Pause the video and think about it. How would you say it? So many minutes till what hour? I'll consult Matthew again. Uh-huh. He says it. What? 35 minutes till? No. It's going to be... There's a minute hand. How many minutes till? The minute hand gets up here. There's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 till what? The next hour will be nine. Did you get that? 25 till nine. If we say it with the hours and minutes way, then we have just eight hours. Okay, because it's not yet nine hours. It's just eight full hours. And the minute hand has traveled all the way from here, this full half an hour and five minutes more. So it's 8.35. Now, if it is five till four, how would you say that using the normal hours and minutes way? Five till four means five minutes till four hours. It's not yet four hours, so it's only three full hours that we have. But three, how many minutes? If you look at the clock, here it is. Five minutes till four. Okay, does that help? The minute hand has traveled from here all the way there. How many minutes if you count by fives or if you remember here is 30 minutes here's 45 minutes so we get 55 or you can think of it as full hour being 60 minutes and if you take five away it's 55 right this other 6 40 what time is it if you say it the other way using till or after Six hours, 40 minutes, we're going to use 
till, okay, because it's already more than half an hour past, six. And so the next hour is seven. So many minutes till seven. And there's already 40 minutes here and 60 minutes in a full hour. So 40 minutes is lacking how many minutes from 60? 20. Yes, 20 till 7. Okay, and that was all. I hope it was helpful.